Hi guys, it's Cheryl, the CraftNut32, and I'm here today with two cards used made, made using the new Doodlebug designs. Um, they're not really new, but they're new in the Silhouette store, and they are so cute. So this first card was made using this fox, and he is so cute. Um, in the eyes, I have added eyes and nose, some glossy accents, and on the tail, I have added some Wink of Stella. And I'm not sure if it's going to show, but in real life, it is really shimmery, really pretty as you move the card around. Um, the leaves are also cut out using the Doodlebug designs, really cute as well. This Happy Birthday banner came from a Lawn Fawn Stamps uh, Home Sweet Home, and it's right here. I cut it out with the coordinating die. The happy birthday in the middle of the card is with this happy birthday stamp from another Lawn Fawn stamp set, Bake Me a Cake. And I just inked up the happy and then inked up the birthday right below to create the side-by-side uh, -side sentiment. The background for this card I used with a, I created using rather, a My Favorite Things rubber background stamp. And I stamped it with some Simon Says Stamp Dark Chocolate. Um, around in the center of the card, I cut out an oval with some post with a post-it note. I then stamped the card. Before I took off the post-it note, I inked it up with some vintage photo distress ink and an ink distress tool. I just inked up around the edge to give it a nice roughed up look. I used this little paper. I believe this is, yep, Tim Holtz. And again, I just used the vintage photo around the edge. Really simple card to create, didn't take very long at all, and I just love this fox. So that is the first card. The second card is a Halloween card, also using the Doodlebug designs, and I was really inspired with this spooky sentiment. So what I did is I welded it to a box, and then I decided to create a shaker card with it. So the little spider here and the, I guess, skull is also from Doodlebug. On the inside of the card is also some more spiders, but there are eyeballs also. And they are really cute. To fill up the card, I'm just going to grab... All of the shaker is with this Recollections Chunky Glitter. I'm not sure if it's focusing. And then I used some purple and orange sequins in there as well. So I just glued the spider and the skull to the side. Um, really straightforward shaker. I just used some foam tape. I used gray background and I'm just going to write with a white gel pen on the inside. And then the third thing I have cut out with the Doodlebug design is this really cute um, haunted house. I just assembled it as is. The only thing I did was around the purple I used some dusty Concord just to kind of give it some shape I guess. But really cute designs. I have really enjoyed having them. There's a whole bunch of Christmas designs loaded in the Silhouette store already, um, which I cannot wait to play with. But for right now, those were the ones I've used so far. Anyways, thank you for watching. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my friend Steph for these really cute nails. She painted them for me a couple days ago. So Steph, if you're watching, hi and thank you. Um, to everyone else, I hope you've enjoyed the video and that you'll tune in next time. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.